hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to download and install flutter with flutter we are going to download and install some other basic components in order to run our flutter into our system so first of all we are going to download and install git git is basically allows you to share your project with other developers in order to so they can contribute into your project or you can contribute into their project as well so first of all we are going to download and install git so let's start the tutorial so open your web browser and search for git download so the downloads git scm this is the first link we are going to open this so i'm going to choose windows because uh, this tutorial is for windows 10 and 11 so the windows option now i'm going to choose the 64-bit version for git so when you click the 64-bit link it will start downloading the setup file so i have, I have already downloaded it, as you can see below in order to save time so i'm going to open this and start installing so in this option you have to click yes so now the so the basically the i'm going to I'm not going to change anything here. I will keep the default setting. So I'm just going to click next every time I see anything. Next, again, next, again, next. And I'm not going to change anything here because I want to keep default. So you also don't need to change anything here. So it's going to take a few seconds to complete. So as you can see the installation has been completed this is our first step is done so now click on finish so now the second step is to download and install flutter now search for flutter download on your google browser and open the first link here again i'm going to choose the option windows because this tutorial is for windows 10 and 11 now just click on this link flutter windows 3.01 stable dot zip file this is the version we have to download and install in of flutter in our system so when you click on this link it will start downloading and once it is completed open the downloaded file as you can see below i have already downloaded in order to save time so i'm going to open this so this is the flutter file that we have downloaded now we need to extract and paste this file into a specific location so follow this step as i'm doing So click here on extract and select extract all. Now here go to the browse option. So first of all go to the option this PC. Now go to your C drive. In C drive here we are going to create a new folder. There it is uh, SRC SRC. now i'm going to paste all these extracted files into this folder now click on the extract option So it's going to take some time because uh, the file size is huge. So as you can see that uh, the file has been extracted of Flutter into the as C drive into SRC folder and this is the our Flutter file which we have downloaded and installed completely. Now one more step left for the flutter is that now you have to open the bin file and copy this link. Now you have to paste this link into the environment variables. Search for environment variables and open the add the system environment variables. Now click here the environment variables. 
now open the path file edit and click the new option and here we are going to paste the link of bin folder of flutter so that's it click ok and close this as well close this as well so this is how our flutter has been installed so now we have to install the android studio this is our third step so search for android studio download open the first link so now click the download android studio button here you have to accept the terms and condition and click on download option so i have already downloaded here yes in the blue as you can see so i'm going to open this file So now we are installing the Android Studio. Now you have to click the option yes. So the setup will start. So I'm going to keep clicking the next button because uh, I want to keep the default setting. I'm not going to change anything here. So install. So it's going to take you seconds to install the installation has been completed now click on next and uh, finish so the android studio will start running right now so click ok so for the very first time it's, it usually takes some minutes to start the android studio onto the system So here click next. Okay, don't say next. And I'm going to again I'm going to keep the default setting as always. I'm not going to change anything here. Next and next. And again next. So here you have to accept the terms and conditions. Now click finish. So it's, now it's downloading some important packages and it will automatically install by itself. We don't have to do anything. And it usually takes some minutes. In here you have to click the option yes. So as you can see the some uh, after installing the android studio when we opened the android studio there was some uh, installation of the basic packages that is also has been completed so now we are going to click on finish so as you can see the android studio is running working fine now we have to create a virtual device that is uh, so go to the virtual device manager and uh, from here we can create a new device that is uh, our emulator so i'm going to choose uh, pixel 2 you can choose any of these uh, it doesn't matter uh, the only thing is different is the sizes of the emulator screen so i'm choosing here pixel 2 and click next so here you have to download the api label of the android version so i'm going to choose the r uh, api level 30 this is the android version 11 so click on the download link so it's started to download it's again gonna take some minutes to complete so you can as you can see the uh, virtual device has been set up the emulator is installed finally so now click on next and just uh, no, no need to change anything here and just finish so our virtual device has been created now we can run emulator on our system so one last thing in the android studio is that to install flutter plugin so go to the plugin and type flutter and install the first one right here 
accept the terms and condition and then install so we are now done with the android studio now we need to download the visual studio code that is our fourth step so now close this and search for now search for visual studio code and click on the first link now you can click here download for windows and it will start downloading the vs code i have already downloaded it so as you can see below so i'm just going to open this file and run the setup so accept the terms and condition and keep clicking next because we don't have to change anything here uh, i'm going to go with the default setup and install So as you can see the installation has been completed, now click on finish. So this is our Visual Studio code and uh, you can change the setup if you want but I'm going to keep it default and uh, one more thing here, go to the extensions and search for Flutter and install this flutter extension the first one it will also install the dart extension as well automatically we don't have to install it will install by default with flutter so it's gonna take few seconds to download and install the plugin into our visual studio code so the flutter and dart extensions are installed so our work is done with the visual studio code as well our fourth step has been completed now close this and everything so after the installation of everything now you have to do a few things in order to run the android studio properly into your system so first of all go to the this pc and c drive in c drive access the users now click your uh, the file with your name and uh, now we need to open an folder which is name uh, app data which is not showing here because uh, it is usually hidden by default it might be showing to you or it might not be showing to you it depends so but usually it is a hidden file it does not appear regularly so go to the view if it's not showing to you and click on the hidden items now the app folder appears now open this app folder now go to the lo local and the android folder now here you open the sdk file now click this link and copy this link so now you have to add this link into the environment variables so search for the environment variable click this and click the environment variables so now here you are going to create a new variable in user variables so click the new and variable name should be android underscore home make sure to write it as it is um, in capital android underscore home and click the link uh, and paste the link here which we have copied of the sdd file so after pasting the link now click ok so now you have to add uh, two more paths into the path variable so now we have to add two more path into this uh, path variable now after clicking this path now click the option edit and here you are going to click new so now type here percentage android underscore home 
percentage now backslash with uh, platform platform happen tools so this is the first path we have added into the path variable now we have to add a second path into this same variable now click here new and type android percentage android underscore home percentage backslash tools so this is your second path into the path variable and make sure to follow these syntax and uh, rules and uh, alphabets make sure to write it correctly and properly if you write it wrong the sdk might not work so make sure to follow these steps properly so now we are done we have added the two paths and now click ok and you can close this so first of all now you can open the cmd command and uh, now you can run flutter doctor so basically this will show if we have any error in our flutter so we have installed everything the to run flutter but this flutter doctor command will show you if there is any error in the installation or anywhere so we can fix it from here easily so for the first time it usually takes few minutes to run this command okay so as you can see the we have uh, here almost uh, three errors so we can fix this error so now open the android studio now go to the more actions the sdk manager now choose the option sdk tools in here we need to check this android sdk command line tools and uh, let me check if is, is there anything we need so that's all now click apply okay so the command line tool has been installed now click on finish and okay now once again we are going to close this and reopen the command now again type flutter doctor so for the android licenses we have to run this command flutter doctor okay, so type flutter doctor happen happen android happen license now enter y and click enter again enter y and click enter once again y and click enter again enter y and click enter same for this tab as well so sdga packages license has been accepted now once again close this and uh, reopen the command now run flutter doctor again so as you can see now we have only one error that is actually because uh, we have to it is asking us to download the C++ development environment which we don't need because we are uh, we downloaded Visual Studio Code for uh, Flutter not for C++ so but still Visual Studio Code will run fine and perfectly so in the next video I will try to show you how to run the first application on the visual studio code and how to run the emulator for the first time so that, that's it for today i hope you download and install everything perfectly and i hope it is working fine for you as well so do let me know if you have any question in the comment section and that's it for today uh, thank you so much for watching like the video and subscribe the channel thank you